my energy levels have actually been through the roof lately and i'm loving it i must admit i'm really really enjoying it my sleep's been on point my eating could have been better could be better yet i've felt energized consistently for the hours in which i've been awake i've been wide awake i've been alert i've been enjoying work hard work has felt fun it's been fulfilling yet when i come to these audios i feel like i have done or no to lie i haven't been able to transmit that i haven't been able to communicate that i haven't been able to share that energy and i know why like there's something that i like quite frankly can't wait to share with you guys um like a week or two away from being able to but it's been extremely frustrating i'll be real it's been extremely frustrating um because whilst where am i in training right now like how would i put it i'm i'm at a point in training right now where i am itching i am catting out to load my legs i miss it like nobody's business to the point where i can see myself doing things that i said i wasn't going to do for a little while simply because i've been starved of that i.e deadlift um and squat however i'm going to do them in ways that i believe will serve the goals in which i want to achieve like, i want to be able to i want to be able to weight lift olympic lift i want to have those I want to learn those movements. I do. Plain and simply, I do. And I came to that conclusion by plain and simply looking at men in their 50s and 60s and deciding that I want to look like the guys that have been weightlifting, Olympic lifting, for years. Rather than the guys that were powerlifting or the guys that were bodybuilding. So I'm I'm catting out for that. I'm itching for that. And I feel like that may actually be part of the reason as to why I have so much energy, right? Like, I'm unable to train the hardest muscle group that there is to train in our body, and that's our legs. Um, and whilst there is many a pros to that, as somebody who's always felt like my... Proportionately, my legs were bigger than my upper body... Um, as I'm starting to feel that gradually change um, and I'm able to like understand my upper body a bit better, I'm missing it. I am really, really, really missing it. However, I'm excited. I'm excited. I look forward to getting back to it. Um, but yeah, man, I think the biggest contributor to the way I feel with regards to having a load of energy has been my sleep. Anybody that's followed this channel for a while will know that I've always had a a turbulent relationship with sleep. It's something that I find it very easy to disrespect if I fall out of rhythm and lose momentum. Um, I'm somebody who, <laughs> if you haven't already guessed, is... <laughs> How would I coin this? I'm somebody who thrives on momentum. I'm somebody who relies on momentum. I'm somebody who requires a build-up of momentum in order to stay consistent with things. It's much easier for me to do something that I've done every day for the last 200 days than it is for me to do something that I've done it every other day for a week or two. Why? I'm not too sure. Um, is that something that sh could be worked on? Probably. Is that something that I want to work on? Not necessarily. Like I think that in some ways it's my superpower, right? Um, training every day for me now, due to the amount of momentum that I have behind me, is it's, it's just like waking up and brushing your teeth. It's, it's, it might even be easier than that for me right now. Um, so, and yeah, sleep. Sleep is something that I have rekindled my love with and 
repaired the the damage so to speak in our relationship the relationship between myself and sleep and i believe that's paying that's paying real dividends that's paying that's 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 doing me a lot of favors especially during a period of time where my diet is when i say somewhat inconsistent more than anything i mean that my protein intake is definitely inconsistent i'm definitely not hitting 150 grams of protein minimum every single day where really and truly i need 200 right now at 95 kilos i think that puts me at like 211 to 215 pounds something like that so ideally i need at least 200 um just for recovery like i was talking to my friends today about how i don't even really care about um having good tea levels and having good protein intake and all of that and getting my calories in for growth and aesthetic purposes like i care about it for recovery like i just want to recover better i don't like the fact that last week i was wiped out and unable to do muscle-ups because i bench pressed 130 for two sets of two like to me that's just that's pathetic man that's pathetic like there is a way for me to to bounce back the next day like i'm still only 25 i'm still young like there is absolutely no reason why i couldn't pull up the next day and do the same thing and more um because i always feel like i'm leaving something on the table and I don't like that. Like, I'm trying to get in and get after it, man. Like I love getting in and get after it. I love working hard. I really enjoy that. So as I as I develop momentum um, with sleep, I am coming to the realization that it's time to start developing momentum with the other things that pay play a big part in recovery. The most immediate thing that I can attack being protein and calories. And lastly, uh, testing my bloods, um, finding out my blood panel, um, where I'm deficient, where I'm not. um, And then supplementing accordingly uh, in order to try and aid recovery. Um, So, yeah, I look forward to seeing where that takes me. And as I've said, and I'm going to moan about this until June the 3rd, which will be the day in which I can talk to you guys about what it is that I have been dying to talk about. Um, uh, Yeah, I'm going to moan about it. Well, not moan, but I'm going to mention the fact that I struggle every time I come here because there is a huge part of my mind that is occupied with something right now that I am just unable to divulge. Um, which is really frustrating, but patience is a virtue, my young one. Um, yeah. Despite the videos, I've been, I've been, I've been buzzing recently. I'll be real. I've been flying high, been loving the sun. I've been loving life, and I hope you are too. I hope you are having a great time. And if you are not, then as you should know by now, we move, man. We move. This too shall pass. Tough times never last. Only tough tough people do. <laughs> um, yeah, man. I hope you have a good day in it, wherever you are. And as you well know by now, I shall see you tomorrow.